Hello, I'm Russell and welcome to the Onduline Technical Department. The main aim of this short video is to guide you step by step through the fixing process for Bardoline shingles. There's also a fully comprehensive fixing guide that you can download from our website. The first job is to inspect the building. So in this case, we have a timber frame shed. It's in good condition, but you should check that there are no signs of deterioration on yours. It really is worth spending a little time renovating it before you start on the roof. Pay particular attention to the way the roof section is constructed. In this case, it's made of 12 mm tongue and groove boarded decking supported on timber trusses. But yours may be made from plywood or OSB like this. The main issue is to ensure that the thickness of the decking is sufficient to support nail penetration of between 15 to 20 mm. You're going to need the following tools to do the job. A hammer, snips, knife, tape measure. You should always ensure that you wear safety gloves, goggles, and of course, a safety hat. Finally, please remember that working on roofs is hazardous. Always ensure that you are working from a secure platform or ladder. The next step is to measure the shed. Remember the golden rule of building. Always measure twice so you only fix the job once. I'm going to ask Richard, our instructor, to show us how to do this. Richard is going to measure the slope of the roof using an inclinometer. With this information, we can select the correct fixing specification. Next, Richard is going to measure the length and the width of the shed. The width along what is known as the verge and the length along what is known as the eaves. With these measurements, we can then calculate the materials required. The minimum roof pitch to which you can fix Bardoline is 12 and a half degrees. You should also use an ondutis underlay on shallow pitch roofs below 20 degrees. At the eaves, use Bardoline preformed eaves trays to form a drip edge. Lay them square to the eaves line and fix using large headed clout nails. Alternatively, overlay the eaves with detail tape, folding over the edge of the fascia to create a 5cm drip edge. The roof can then be covered as required with ondutis membrane, overlapping each section by 10cm and securing with clout nails. We can now lay the shingles. First we prepare the eaves course by cutting off the tile tabs from the strip. These are then fixed at the eaves. The bitumen strips form the anchor points to the tile tabs of the first course. On exposed sites, Bardoline sealant adhesive can be used to reinforce the bonding of the tile tabs. The next course is then secured by nailing five fixings per shingle strip above the tile tabs. The tile strips feature interlocking edges to make horizontal alignment of the shingles simple. A notch in the top of the lower course engages with the edge of the next course to provide automatic vertical alignment of the tile tabs. Use a hot air gun to heat the bitumen adhesive to consolidate and bond the tile tab to the lower course. The remaining shingles can then be fixed, taking care to keep them square to the eaves verge lines. To form the ridge, 
cut a tile strip into four sections to prepare the four ridged tiles, trimming off the rebated edges at an angle. Then gently heat each tile section on the bench to form the ridge tiles, which are then taken to the roof for fixing. The ridge tiles are secured by lapping the tile tap section and nailing the trim section. Use heat to consolidate the lap joints. Gun applied Bardolene adhesive should be used on exposed sites to reinforce this bond. Alternatively, the ridge is then overlaid with detail trim and nailed at 15 cm centres. We've used Bardolene preformed verge pieces on this project, but you can also select from a range of other verge details, such as this verge cloaking. Consult the PDF download leaflet for further information. We hope that during the course of this short video, we've been able to show you just how simple it is to fit your own long-lasting, durable roof. If you have any additional questions, please contact our technical team. They'll be more than happy to help you.